Hey, good morning, Intermediate Algebra students. Um, today is Khan Academy Function Notation Word Problems. Um, today is more of a thinking day. It's not difficult. You always have three answers to choose from. It's not difficult from a, a mathematical equation um, solving perspective. It's more difficult from a just you have to think through what it's truly asking. So let's get started. I've got four examples we're going to do here so we um, can hopefully make sure everyone understands this. So Alex went for a walk. D of t models the distance walked. So D of t stands for how far they walked after t hours. Okay, so this right here is a distance, this right here is a distance, and this right here equals the exact same distance that this equaled. Okay, so if you went for a half hour walk, it's less than going for a full hour minus the distance you walked in the first half hour. So if you think about it in terms of numbers, let's pretend that we went for a 10 kilometer walk, okay? But if we, let's say we only walked because it was uphill to start with and it was downhill the rest of the way. Let's say for the first half hour, we only went three kilometers on our walk because it was a hard walk going uphill. So we went three kilometers, but over the entire hour that we walked, it was 10 kilometers. Well, if we subtract out the three kilometers that we went in the first half hour, 10 minus three meant that we actually went um, this would total seven kilometers and seven is greater than three or if we think about it the other way three is less than seven which means the second half hour we had to walk further than we were walked the first half hour so let's see which one that is letter a says the distance Alex walked during the first half hour is shorter than the distance he walked during the following half hour well there it is right there that's gonna be our answer but let's see what the other one said the distance Alex walked after walking an hour is greater than the distance he walked after half an hour. Well, that's true, but that doesn't pay, that doesn't lay claim to this part right here, which is you have to subtract out the first half hour. The time it took Alex to walk the first half hour is shorter. Well, this doesn't measure time. This measures distance. Remember, D of T, D of T models the distance he walked. T is just simply the hour, so that one doesn't make sense as well. All right, let's do a second example. Aiden is a taxi driver. M of N, the function M of N models Aiden's fee. So this is how much. So when you calculate that out, it's how much um, for his nth drive each day. Okay, so this will be the overall fee he pays for his eighth trip he took that day. And this will be the overall fee he made on his fourth trip that day. It looks like on his eighth trip, <clears throat> he made less than his fourth trip. So Aiden earned $8. We don't know that. Nowhere up here does it say he earned $8. So we absolutely, we don't know this one for sure. Aiden earned less money on his eighth trip. So he earned eighth trip was less than, which is true so far, than he earned for his fourth drive. It was fourth one right there. So that one right there is actually our correct answer. And then here, C, Aiden earned $8. Again, nowhere up here does it talk about how much money he made. So we don't know how much he made. So it can't be C as well. All right, let's do a third example. Baby, Amelia, baby Amelia's parents measure her height every month. H of T measures her height. So H of T is how tall she is after T months old. Okay, so this is her height after 30 months. So we don't know the actual height because there's no number there, but we just know after 30 months she was so tall. After 25 months old, she was so tall plus an additional five centimeters. Okay, because they're measuring this in centimeters, that's why I know that equals five centimeters right there. So however tall she was after 30 months, is how tall she was after 25 months if you add five centimeters to her 25th month, which means in those last five months, she grew five additional centimeters. So letter A says, the sum of Amelia's height at five months, well, first of all, nowhere in there does it ever say anything about five months. So that can't be right. Okay, so this one cannot be right. 
It took Amelia five months to grow. Again, there's no mention in here of five months, so that wouldn't be it. Remember, this measures centimeters, not months. If it was measuring months, it would be in this format or this format. When Amelia was 30 months old, so when she was 30 months old, she was five centimeters taller, so five centimeters taller than she was at her 25th month. So this one right here. So letter C is the one that matches that. Finally, one, uh, one more example here. Fourth example. Uh, Aria walked down a trail into a valley. Okay, V of D models Aria's vertical distance. So that's how high up or down she's walking. So if, if you think about going down a hill, She's not only just going so far, but she's also going down the hill. So V of D measures the vertical distance from the top of the valley in kilometers after walking D kilometers along the trail. So this one gets a little confusing because the D stands for how far she actually walks, like two miles, three miles, four miles. But the V of D measures how far vertically up and down she went. Okay. So. What does the statement V of 3, which means um, after walking 3 kilometers, this is how the distance that she went up or down the, the hill. Since she was going down into a valley, I'm assuming she went down. Okay, so the V of D is less than 3. Remember, 3 means after walking for 3 kilometers. So what this is really saying is the distance that she went vertically is less than three kilometers, okay? So, when Arya's vertical distance to the top of the mountain was, when Arya's vertical distance to the top of the mountain was three kilometers, we don't know her vertical distance. We know that this will produce her vertical distance, but we don't know her vertical distance, so it can't be A. It took Arya three, or it took Arya to walk three kilometers. The time it took her to walk three kilometers is shorter than the time it took her to be at a vertical distance of three. We don't know that because we don't know when her vertical distance ever measured three. We do know her, this is her walking three kilometers, but this doesn't measure her three and it doesn't say that. When Arya had walked three kilometers, so when she had walked three kilometers, her vertical distance from the top of the valley, her vertical distance here was less than three kilometers, which is true, there it is. So it's letter C. So you might understand this is a thought one. You really have to think about what does each thing mean when you answer these. Um, again, so you only, again, you only have to get three out of four to get this passed. Um, good luck to you, and I'm available if you need my help. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.